So this is why I could do 2020 general mathematics paper two, and we are answering question number six, A, B, and C. Question number six, A asks to, to copy and complete the table of values, and this table is for the relation Y equals to three sine two X is an equation involving the trig ratio. This is the table. Values of X are given from zero degree, 15 degree, up to 150 degrees. And some few values of y, that is the corresponding values of y are given. When x is 0, y is 0 0.0. When x is 75 degrees, the corresponding value of y is 1.5. And when x is 150, the corresponding value of y is minus 2.6. It is the missing values of y that we are asked to find in this question number A. When that is now done, question number B asks to, to draw the graph of this relation y equals to 3 side 2x. For the same range of values 0 to 150 degrees, but we are now asked to use the scale of 2 centimeter to 15 degrees on the x axis and 2 centimeter to 1 unit on the y axis. When the graph is now drawn, question number C asks you to use that graph that you have drawn to find the truth that set, that is to find the solution of equation Roman 1, 3 sine 2x plus 2 equals to 0, Roman 2, 3 over 2 side 2x equals to 0 0.25. These are the questions that we have to answer in this question number 6. So let's attempt to answer those questions. Solution to the problem. To answer question number 8 is uh, this uh, table, the missing values of y that we need to find. To find the missing values of y, starting with the value of y when x is 15 degrees, you have to replace the x by that value in this given relation y equals to 3 side 2x. So replacing x by 15, in this very relation you now have uh, 2 times 15 which gives you 30. So you now have 3 multiplied by sine 30. So you now find the sine 30 from your Fofigo table of your calculator and that value you now multiply it by 3. That will give you the corresponding y. So finding the value of sine 30, multiplying the result by 3, in the end what you now have rounded to one place of decimal is now going to be 1.5. The next value of y is now replacing x by 30, this value of y. So replacing x by 30, you now have 2 times 30, which gives you 60. So sine 60 from your table or calculator multiplied by 3. The result is now going to be 2.6 rounded to one place of decimal. Next is x45 to find the missing value y there. So replacing x by 45 multiplied by 2, that gives you 90. Sine 90 multiplied by 3. The result is now going to be 3.0. So we keep doing that up to the end. This is what we should be doing. So when that is done correctly for 60, you now have 2.6. For 90, when x is 90, you have 0 0.0. When x is 105 degrees, you have corresponding value of y minus 1.5. When x is 120, you have corresponding value of y minus 2.6. When x is 135, the corresponding y will now be minus 3.0. So this the table is now complete. And that answers the question number E. We move to question number B, ask to draw the graph of this very relation, but using the scale on the x-axis. To see m to 15 degrees, let me draw the horizontal axis, that is the x-axis. Using the scale, this is your graph paper. It will be provided in your answer book letter. This is the x-axis. So, these two, two small divisions represent two centimeters. You can see from zero to this is now two centimeters, we have 15 degrees. From this 15 degrees to 30 degrees is another 15 degrees, or you can see it's 2 centimeter interval. This is my x axis. Now draw the y axis. Draw the y axis, you have the scale 2 cm to 1 unit. That is on the vertical axis, two boxes will now represent 1 unit each. Look at it. So you have from 0 to 1 is 2 centimeter. 1 to 2 is another 2 centimeter, 2 to 3 is another 2 centimeter. I would do the same for the negative part of the y axis. What remains is to now plot these points from my table. When x is 0, y is 0. So that gives me the origin. So I'll make a small mark there. Look at it. 
And next x is 15 degrees, y is 1.5. This is x 15, y 1.5. 1.5 will be somewhere here. Look at it. If you move to the vertical axis, you have 1.5 there. So this is the place I will make a small mark there. And next is x 30, y 2.6. This is x 30, y 2.6. If this is 2, this is 3. There are 10 small divisions in between, which means each one small division is now going to be 0.1. So 2.6 will now be somewhere here. Look at it. So I have x 30, y 2.6. Next is x 45, y 3.0. x 45 degrees, y 3.0 will be exactly here. So I'll continue marking up to the end, marking x and y from this very table. You are going to have this set of points. So what you do next is to join this set of points using your broomstick or freehand. You can equally use French cup. All is required is to have a very smooth comb. This set of points are now joined together using a smooth comb. You're going to have a comb like this. Look at it. This is a very smooth if it is not smooth, answers that you are going to get from this very graph may not be accurate. So question number B has been answered. We move to question number C. Number C, we ask to make use of this very graph to find the solution of this very equation. So starting with the Roman 1, copying the equation 3 side 2x plus 2 equals to 0. What is required, you look at this very equation, particularly the left hand side, and compare it with the equation that you have drawn. It is graph is y equals to 3 side 2x. Here I have 3 side 2x plus 2 is this constant number that makes it different from the one that I have drawn. So, what you need to do is to try to modify this left hand side so that it exactly resembles 3 side 2x, the one that you have drawn. So to make this left-hand side 3 side 2x only, it is now required to take this positive 2 to the right-hand side or to clear this positive 2. To clear this plus 2, you now subtract from both sides 2. So subtracting the 2 from both sides, you now have 3 side 2x plus 2 minus 2 equals to the right-hand side also subtract 2. So plus 2 minus 2 now change it to 0. So in the left hand side, you only have 3 sine 2x and at the right hand side, instead of 0, you now have minus 2. When that is now done, what you now do, you can make use of the same graph to find the solution of this by simply tracing on the y-axis the constant number you have by the right, which is minus 2 in this case. This is my minus 2 of the graph. What you do, you now use your long ruler to draw a dashed line. Horizontally, when it touches your curve, then you turn it to the x-axis. Let's say the line. Now draw this very line at minus 2. That line must be parallel to the x-axis. When it touches your curve, use your ruler again to draw another dashed line vertically up to the x-axis. Let me do that. Look at it. So the value at this very point would now be the solution to the truth set of this equation, 3 side 2x plus 2 equals to 0. If I go back to my graph, it is 2 centimeter 15 units. In this 2 centimeter, there are 10 small divisions, which means each one small division is 1.5. So if this is 105, I have four small divisions from 105 to this very point. So which means uh, these uh, four small divisions will give uh, answer 6. 6 added to 105 give answer 111. That is 111. So the value here is 111. And that gives the solution of uh, this very equation. So x will now be equal to the solution 111 degrees. So Roman 1 has now been answered. Roman 2. We have another equation that we have to find it is solution. Let me just copy it. 3 over 2 side 2x equals to 0 0.25. We clear this very fraction, 3 over 2. Multiply both side by 2. That will give left hand side 3 side 2x and right hand side 0 0.25 times 2. That gives us 0 0.25. 
five. So look at that to your left hand side, it's exactly the graph that you have drawn, three side twelve. So just consider the number by the right hand side located on the vertical axis, 0 0.5. This will now be the 0 0.5. This is one, this is zero. So halfway in between zero and one will be 0 0.5. So you now draw a horizontal line to cross the curve in two different places. So there, there will be two solutions here. So where it touches, you draw another line down to the x-axis like this, and draw another line down to the x-axis like this. So the two values at this very two points would now serve as the two solutions to this very equation. So the very first value, that is the value of fc, have a very small division here from zero to this very point. And each small division I said is 1.5. So x value here would now be, that is at this very point, x will now be 4.5 degrees. O will have another second value, that is the second solution. The value here, according to my estimate, is now going to be 85.5 degrees. These are the two solutions to this very equation. And that answered all the three questions. So let me just share with you quickly the mark distribution for this very question as it is there in the marking scheme. So the very first mark is bonus the three marks. These three marks will be able to complete this table exactly and have those missing values of Y. Like this, you have bonus three marks. For any wrong one, it is now going to be minus half a mark. So next mark is plotting this set of points from the table and joining them correctly. Using the correct scale, you have another three marks. Next mark is modifying this very equation. Three side two x plus two. You have this method one mark. And trying to trace the solution of that drawing this very line on this graph at y equals to minus two, you have this bonus one mark. And when you now read the value correctly, and you have x as 111 degrees exactly, you have this accuracy one mark. The next mark is modifying the Sakari equation to resemble also the left-hand side of it, to resemble the one that you have drawn. By cross-multiplying, you have this method one mark. And when you now have the first value of x as 4.5 degrees, you have this accuracy one mark. And when you have the second pair of solution as 85.5 degrees, you have this accuracy one mark. So in total, this very question, if everything is done correctly, you have a very huge mark to have good marks.